Let's talk for a moment about aircraft control cables. There seems to be more and more cases of damaged cables due to everything from chafing, misrouting, to improper inspection procedures. I'm David Hayes, and let's talk about that and more on this edition of the Aviation Maintenance Safety Moment. Palmer, Texas, April 30th, 2023. A Lescom aircraft experienced a flight control system failure. The aircraft suffered substantial damage to both the left main landing gear and the left wing. A post-accident examination revealed that the left rudder cable had separated at the pulley under the cabin floor. The cable assembly also revealed that it did not meet the manufacturer's specifications. The cable displayed evidence of fatigue due to an excessive bending angle at the pulley. A review of the maintenance records did not reveal the origin or the installation date of the unapproved part. The owner reported that there was a missing aircraft logbook that recorded maintenance between August 2009 and April 2014. The mechanic who conducted the last annual inspection stated that he does not remove the cable as required by the AD due to the time-consuming process and activates the tail rotor pedals to move the cable and allow inspection around the pulleys and leads. Let's look at some guidance you should review to ensure your cable control system remains in an airworthy condition. Your best reference is to follow the manufacturer's maintenance manuals. Next is manufacturer safety communications that come out periodically with updates concerning your aircraft and its operation. The FAA Advisory Circular AC 43.13-1 Bravo is a general maintenance document that provides acceptable methods, techniques, and practices for aircraft inspection and repair. This document can be found on the FAA website. FAA Special Airworthiness Information Bulletins alert owners, operators, and maintenance technicians and inspectors of aircraft airworthiness concerns. And of course, always comply with all applicable airworthiness directives. Aircraft control cable damage can pose significant risk to flight safety as it directly affects the pilot's ability to control various flight surfaces such as ailerons, elevators, and rudders. Let's discuss the different types of damage and what to look for. Fraying or broken cables. Over time, cables can become frayed due to wear and tear, especially if they're exposed to excessive loads or sharp edges. A broken cable can result in a complete loss of control over the affected flight surface. Corrosion. Moisture, dirt, and other contaminants can cause corrosion, weakening the cable material. Corrosion is particularly dangerous because it can be difficult to detect during routine inspections. Stretching. Continuous loading and unloading of cables over time can cause them to stretch. This leads to a loss of tension, reducing the effectiveness of the controls, and may also cause misalignment of the flight surfaces. Incorrect routing or binding. If cables are routed improperly or obstructed by foreign objects, the cable can become jammed or bent. This can restrict movement or cause an unbalanced load on a system. In summary, while aircraft control cable failures are relatively rare due to rigorous maintenance practices, a failure would potentially be catastrophic for the pilot and passengers. Understanding the potential causes, signs, and preventive strategies is essential for ensuring flight safety. The key is early detection routine inspections, and ensuring the system is always operating within the manufacturer specifications. Preventing control cable damage through proper installation, maintenance, and regular inspections can help ensure the continued safe operation of the aircraft. For the FAST team, I'm David Hayes. <laughs>